And Miss Supervisor, Miss Miss Super Mayor, why you say you like transparency and you're a black woman, you want to hold black women up. But look at all these black women that need to be held up. Somebody needing housing. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. When we consider political parties uh, and what they stand for, ultimately, the Democratic Party is looked at as the party that protects the rights of minorities. And so that's important um, because minorities, uh, gays, blacks, uh, Asians, and women should be high priority in the Democratic Party. But what have we seen, guys? We have seen that this is just not the case. In fact, the Democratic Party, it almost appears, is removing the rights from women, okay, in, in many aspects. And the people that have been elected to help black women, think about this. Those people are typically the most mean, cruel, and rude to women. And in the case of Tiffany Henyard, this is exactly what happens. There is nobody that I have seen, Republican that we can point to, that disrespects women, or even Democrat, by the way. But since Tiffany Henyard is a Democrat, nobody disrespects black women like Tiffany Henyard. And we know that because of what she's done to people that she's fired. She has mistreated so many single mothers, older women, women that are handicapped. And when you go to one of those town meetings, township meetings, you see a lot of hostility coming from black women. You're the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen in my life. Just like someone said, I mean, one minute you're team Kamala and then the next it's team Trump. You know, I want to sit down with you. Do you think for a minute, Tiffany, he's going to honor that? Do you think he even, well, he probably does know you, unfortunately, but do you think he would invite you to anything? I mean, anyone, I mean, you're on your way out. I don't know if you know that, but you're actually on your way out. This next black woman is someone that she won't even pay. Good evening, Mayor, Trustees, Madam Clerk, and the residents of Dalton. I am a vendor here in Dalton. I'm not a resident. I, clerk, I, I was previously uh, cleaning the police department. I'm here because we are owed four months of pay. Even when we weren't getting paid, we still showed up each and every day to do our job. We have shown our integrity and have, and have taken pride in what we do on a daily. We just want what is due to us. We have worked as a vendor. We give our time, our work ethic, and everything. But we can't work for free. I have watched previous board meetings, Mayor, where you have stated that the vendors shouldn't be working for free, that they should get paid, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to get what is due to us. Thank you. And this black woman, you won't believe what she's gonna call. We live with the same criminal in two governments, which are the village of Dalton and Thornton Township. The purpose of my comment tonight is to debunk the false allegations that the majority of us are haters, hecklers, and lawbreakers. But in fact, those of us that stand before you just want to rebuild a better community for everyone. Now, all of these are women. You don't see very many men. And of course, if you watch the video, I think only two men got up. But all of these women are disgruntled. But today we're not here for disgruntled black women for the most part. A white woman got up at the meeting and literally eviscerated Tiffany Henry. You look stupid for letting her silence you. Say something. It's been months. Months. It looks bad. And Ms. Yeah. Supervisor, Miss Miss Super Mayor, why you say you like transparency and you're a black woman, you want to hold black women up. But look at all these black women that need to be held up. Somebody needing housing? Nia Dukes? Everybody else? Alexis Wilson? Come on. And why did you lock the, you went to court the other day, didn't you, Mrs. Super Mayor? And didn't you perjure yourself and tell the court, the judge, that you didn't live at the address that you live at? 
Why did you change the locks in the, uh, the garage door opening if you don't live there? Where do you live, Miss Super Mayor? Do you live in Dalton? Are you even capable of being here? This is a community that needs to be lifted up, and all you do is beat them down. Jedediah sent me here tonight. I drove an hour to be here so I could say this to you. I've been watching you for months, and you're a clown. You are a clown. This community doesn't need to be beat down every time you turn around. You went and you, you complained because somebody took down them ugly ass banners. Them banners are stupid. Stupid. What if you, when I drive through Dalton, what do I see? A, 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 a disgrace, a displacement. It, just, it doesn't need to be this way. You need to put the money that you stole, allegedly, into the pockets of the people that live here. You owe the landlord $8,000, don't you? you it, right. I mean, you're stealing all the money. I mean, you make all the money, allegedly. And she's stealing it all, too. These, I drove an hour to be here. You could at least look at me. I'm tired of looking at the wig. I tell you what. It's broke down. It needs a break. Give it a rest. Try a new hairdo. And you, you really need to say something to you. I'm a victim. I've been raped. I've been beat and everything else. I can, I can sympathize. You advocate for everybody else. You're standing there. I see you on TV, sleeping outside. But you can't say anything to her? You let this, this the supervisor silence you? O'Shea, Duke Jackson, what are you getting at, brother? What are you trying to say? Let me say this. The Democratic Party deals with a lot of identity politics. So because the Democrats deal with a lot of identity politics, I felt that it was fair enough for me to put this mirror to their face. So since they are gonna deal with identity politics, it's only fair to understand the opportunity that they have missed because a white woman has to come out there and tell you as a black woman what you're not doing for the community. What you're not doing for the community. Imagine that a white woman has to come to Dalton, which is almost like over 90% black and tell you as a black woman, what you're not doing. It's laughable, isn't it? Okay. It's laughable, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's, it's hilarious. And see, this is just more proof. And you notice that when Tiffany Hayard is there, she ignores the people talking to her. She's looking down. She's looking at something else. She's clapping back. I mean, this is the, this is the reality of it all. And, but she wants black women to support her. She wants to vote. And then you're not even having respect for the women that you're supposed to be helping. You're supposed to be, you love black women. You will do anything to help black women. You wanna see more black women in power. And I can tell you right now, if that was the case, we would see a lot of different outcomes in the Democratic Party. But I don't think anybody believes that. I don't think anybody really believes that, okay? A lot of the women that I have seen supporting other sisters um, in the DNC and things like that, um, and they do it because of their good heart. I, I, I honestly feel in this case, very sorry for them because a lot of women do support uh, women in, in the black community. And then, you know, a lot of times they're, they're taken advantage of, and this ain't a white supremacy issue. It's, these are black people doing this stuff. They are being a, taken advantage of from black women in the community that, are, that should be there to help them. And we all see it. We want to act like we don't see it, but we see it. And this is a mirror to your face, Tiffany. Okay. This is what you do. This is how you rock, boo. This is, the, this is what you got popping right now. And you think that people don't know it or people are stupid or they don't really understand what's going on. No, they know what's going on. And the reason why they know what's going on is because this is what you're doing. So now the white lady got to come through and she don't even live in Dalton because you're not paying black women. You're disrespecting black women. You don't pay attention to black women. And then they talk about the problem that you're going to have with Trump. What is to come with Trump? I will tell you what is to come if you get more leaders like Tiffany Hingard. And I'm going to tell you the Tiffany Hingard thing, when you see Kamala Harris and all that dysfunction and booty clapping, those are the kind of leaders you produce. Tiffany Hingard is what, uh, what Democrats produce. Okay. Unethical, uneducated, unaccountable. 
when you do all that booty clapping and you have all those things like that, that's what they produce, public sector degenerates. Look at that guy over in Chicago, Brandon Johnson. You'd be, you'd be better off with a goat as the mayor than that person, okay? This is a joke. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate your father you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.